Yo, what is up you guys? My name is Benji and welcome back to another video. We do have some very important things to go through in this one, but before we get into it, make sure to please drop a like on the video for some good luck for AMC. If you guys want to see all-time highs this week like I do, make sure to please drop a like on the video. I'm super excited to announce that we currently have a few more slots open for our exclusive private trading discord. Inside the discord, you'll find real-time stock picks from yours truly, see all my trades in real time, and chat with other thousands of investors that are constantly posting plays, trades, and more. We even have multiple millionaire investors in there, which you could pick their brain, ask them questions, etc. So make sure you guys join before we close the server again, because we are only letting in a limited amount of people. Click the second link down below in my description to join. Let's not waste any more time. AMC short interest as of today. This is the newest report from Ortex. AMC short interest is at 2.63 billion, 75.84 million shares shorted, 15.17% of the short interest afloat, 13.17% S3 short interest float, 1.21% fee, share shorted down, 4 million shares worth 138 million, minus 4.99% over the last week. And shorts are down 3.6 billion in 2021, mark to market losses, including 474 million on today's 15.29% move. And remember guys, this short interest would most likely be Friday because remember, it's always two days behind. So what's going to be very interesting to see is how two days from today looks on the short interest report to see if any of the shorts did cover. And in fact, I do believe that very, very little did cover today. And if any did cover, I think it's going to be a very small amount. But one very important piece of data that we have got to look through today, which I have not been seeing many other people talk about, is this right here, guys. This right here shows the available shares at times that they're available at. So, so basically every 15 minutes is updates. And do you guys see anything weird about this area right here? Look a little bit closer right in this area. So what we see right here on July 20th at 11 a.m., there's 650,000 shares available at a 1%. Then 15 minutes later, July 20th at 1115 a.m., what do we see? 5.4 million. Well, it could mean that actual shares were returned, meaning that shorts were covered. But then look what happens up here at 1245. All of a sudden it goes from 5.3 million shares available at 1% on July 20th at 1230. And then 15 minutes later, as this updates, it goes back down to 200,000 shares available at 1%. So this is very, very fishy here, guys. And this isn't the first time that these weird types of things have happened. But it shows right here the fact that shares were so-called delivered and then all of a sudden they were gone again. Now, like I said, it's going to be quite interesting what we see two days from now because we will have the short interest report. But the fact that this data was scalped and it's real, it shows that a ton of shares were returned and then all of a sudden they were gone again. They were borrowed again. So I don't know what the heck is going on here. Now, this is just speculation, but maybe what's going on has to do with the margin calls. Yesterday, we saw around Twitter the fact that the market was down so much, a lot of these brokers are getting stricter and stricter with margin calls. JP Morgan warns hedge funds to expect intraday margin calls. US Bank may demand variation margin up to seven times a day after Archegos default. JP Morgan is warning hedge fund clients that it will demand they post more cash at any time during the day if their trades lose value. And I know at this point, it seems like something of the past, but if you guys remember yesterday, the market tanked very, very bad. Like we saw the market drop more yesterday than we've seen in months. So, so that's definitely why a lot of people were freaking out saying that hedge funds could and will be margin called on yesterday if they do not meet intraday or daily margin requirements. It says the U.S. bank by assets called clients of its prime brokerage division in an aftermath of the collapse of Archegos Capital Management, according to three people familiar with the matter. J.P. Morgan told the hedge funds and family offices that they would have to post more collateral on their single name equity swap positions if they lost intraday value. So could this have something to do with margin calls? I think it's completely possible. But remember guys, even if some of these hedge funds do get margin called, it does not mean that AMC is going to squeeze right away. It is a catalyst to the squeeze, but it's not automatic. Firms have an hour to meet margin requirements according to the new DTCC regs. If requirements aren't met, they will be forced to sell assets to cover their positions. So what they would have to do is basically sell other assets within their portfolios within their holdings, and then they would have to cover the exposed positions with more cash to meet their requirements. But if you guys want to stay up to date with everything else going on with AMC, make sure to please subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on so you never miss out on a video. 
I'll be posting all the relevant, important information you guys need to know right here on my channel. Also, make sure to like the video for some good luck for AMC. I'm really hoping for some all-time highs this week. And finally, if you guys haven't already, make sure to go down below to my description, the second link down there, and join our exclusive Discord server. We are only accepting a few more people, so make sure to join it as soon as possible. Thanks as always, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.